Nazis, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for August the 20th to August the 26th. And if you like this reading, as I always say, please like or subscribe if you'd like to, or leave a comment if you would like to. I have everything ready as usual. I'm going to start your reading for lovely, lovely Pisces people. The first card you have for your past is the King of Pentacles. So I'm seeing, um, I'm actually seeing a love connection. I'm seeing um, this love connection where um, you're waiting, you're waiting for someone, waiting for someone to get closer to you or waiting for someone to contact you a lot more frequently than they were or something like that. I'm seeing things were happening, things were happening between you, but they were happening very, very slowly. And I'm actually seeing you wanting to contact them. It was like you were really thinking, should I contact them? They haven't contacted me. I do all the work here. But I really, really want to talk to them. I want to contact them. But, oh, I can't. You know, you might have been um, sitting on your hands, sitting on your phone or something like that so that you couldn't contact them. It was like you were stopping yourself from contacting them. I'm seeing you doing the right thing by doing that. You were doing the right thing by not contacting them. It was like, you know, this person really could have... You were, you were doing a lot more contact than they were and they really should have shown you a lot more interest than they were. That's what I'm seeing. I mean... They really, it wasn't like, you know, I wanted to say, I was about to say it was the, their turn to contact you. And I don't mean that you have one turn, they have one turn. But really it was like you did a lot more contact. You were talking to them more, suggesting things, saying, let's go out here, let's do... You were doing all of the work and they were kind of sitting back and not doing much. And it really was their turn. It really was their turn to step up. So I'm really glad that you kind of left it and left it to them to kind of, you know, step up themselves. And um, yes, I'm just seeing this person was really caught up in themselves, almost to the, the point of being um, selfish. They didn't seem to be selfish. When they were around you, when you were together, they didn't seem to be selfish. But maybe if you look back at some of the time you've spent around this person, there could have been a lot of maybe small things, small selfish behaviours that maybe you're ignoring or maybe that you wanted to ignore because you wanted to kind of... Um, you really did care about them. You wanted this to work. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you were giving them the benefit of the doubt. You're a fair person, I'm seeing, and you wanted to kind of be fair to them. You were like, well, maybe they're just busy, maybe this, maybe that, all of these kinds of things. So I'm seeing that they're not actually a terrible person. They're not a bad person. You know, by selfish, I mean that, you know, it's not like they're selfish in the way that they grab all of your things and they run away, not that kind of thing. It's like they just think about themselves when they're caught up in something. That's the only thing on their mind. They don't have other things on their mind. So if they're busy at work, if they're trying to achieve something, they're looking at that, they're thinking about that. Other things could be happening, things could be going past. Somebody could be, you know, throwing money on their head and they wouldn't even notice. They'd just be looking at what they were doing. So they're kind of very, they have a one-track mind almost on whatever they're thinking of, whatever they're doing. So, but, you know, really they should have... It takes, no matter how busy they were, it takes one second to contact someone, even just a text, it takes one second. So really, they could have stepped up and made the effort. And I think that that's what you were thinking about at this time, you're starting to realize this, that if they really wanted to talk to you, they would have. And I agree with you, I believe that too. Um, but some things are, some people are very kind of, um, their minds on what they're doing. I mean, there could be a, a there could be a tidal wave or there could be a great big earthquake or something around them, World War Three or whatever could break out around them and they wouldn't even notice. They wouldn't even notice. Um, that's what this person's like. That's I'm just trying to kind of uh, give you some idea in their personality. That's why they're like that. The next card you have for your past is the moon. So yes, I'm seeing for a while you were kind of in your head, imagining all kinds of things, all kinds of things about this person. Because of the way they were behaving, I'm seeing that this was probably making you feel like um, maybe you're wondering, are they talking to someone else? Are they seeing someone else behind my back? Is that why they're not talking to me? Are they ghosting me? Have they gone off me? Are they kind of being cruel? Are they this or that, you're thinking all these kinds of things were going into your head and that was really their fault because they could have just sent you a tiny text saying, I'm really sorry, I'm so busy right now, I'm thinking about you, please don't be upset, 
you know, whatever. And then that would have made you think, oh, okay, right, they're telling me what's going on. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. I'm not seeing there was a third party, I'm not seeing anything like that. But again, I'm seeing this was a selfish person. They had their mind set on themselves. They had their mind set on what they wanted to achieve, what they wanted to do. I'm seeing this is probably an, a high achiever I, I'm, because I'm seeing, you know, the King of Pentacles here. And um, if you're not quite in a relationship, if this is someone you've just started seeing, um, if you do end up with this person properly uh, in a serious relationship, or if you are already in a relationship with this person, I'm not seeing this person changing. Uh, this is someone who whose needs are always going to come first. Uh, some people might be fine with that. Some people are happy to be around people like that. That's fine. Um, but as I was seeing in the in the um, King of Pentacles, this lack of contact was really bothering you. It was really stressing you out and making you worry and all these kinds of things. So maybe you're maybe you're not cut out to be around this person. Now we can always say we can all say, oh, they need to change. They need to uh, contact you more. They need to this and that. But I think this person is uh, like that. I don't think they're going to change. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have, your past, is um, the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, look at this queen nurturing this coin on her lap. She's looking down, she has roses all around her, she's very soft. So there was so much that you had to offer. There was so much that you had to offer this person. And you're almost, um, you're almost like the opposite of this person, but in a good way. It's like the king and the queen of pentacles are kind of opposites in a way, but they're a perfect match. That's what I'm seeing because you've got the king and the queen of pentacles here. So you are holding back on what you had to offer this person. You wanted to talk to them. You wanted to suggest things. You wanted to give things to them, bring things to them, help them, care about them. But you were holding back. You were holding back because you felt that you weren't getting this attention from them. And you felt that you weren't getting the attention that you deserved. That's what I'm seeing there. So that's why you were doing that. The first card you have your present is the Eight of Swords. So I'm seeing a work situation here. I'm seeing some kind of work situation or come some kind of work project or something you're trying to do outside of work. It's something work related. I'm getting this feeling of restriction with this card. Um, there's something that, yes, there's something you'd like to be doing. There's something you'd like to be doing outside of this um, work, your normal work, something that's kind of more aligned with who you truly are, who you truly want to be. Um, if you look at the woman in this card, she's kind of walked away from where she was, but she's not able to go any farther. She feels as if she can't go any further. She's kind of stuck where she is. And um, yeah, she has a rope around her. She has a kind of a blindfold on, but you know, they're not tight. They're loose. They're loose. Um, so she could take them off if she wanted to, but she doesn't see that she can. That's what I'm seeing. So you could move toward what you want to do, but you don't see how you can do that. You're kind of stuck where you are. Um, this woman also has passion for where she'd like to be. She has a red dress. So you have passion for what you'd like to do, but you can't see how you're going to be able to do that. So you feel like you've moved away from your regular job in your own mind. You've kind of moved on in your mind physically but in your mind so you might be doing your regular job and you might be kind of just doing your job doing what you have to do coming home again but your mind is really on what you'd like to be doing um, and you might be thinking to yourself you know you might be at a crossroads at this time you might be thinking oh should I leave my job I really don't like where I am should I leave my job should I leap into something new or should I stay where I am. Now I'm seeing that you might be frustrated in the position you're in because you're in the Eight of Swords, you kind of feel stuck. But I'm seeing that this position where you're kind of one foot in your old job, one foot in the new thing, is a perfect position for you to be in because you still have the security of your old job but you can do it very easily. You can come in, do your job, go home. You don't have any problems with that. You can keep on with that. That's fine. It might be very stimulating, but you know, you can do it easily. So you've got that and you've got that security there. Plus, you can be working toward the new thing as well. 
So you don't need to leap into the new thing. You can keep on working on that, building that up until that becomes bigger, ready for you to move forward. And then you can leave your first place and move into the second place. But at the moment, you're in a perfect position. You don't have to worry about being insecure with no job while you're building up this business or whatever it is. But you can still work on the new thing. So you're in a perfect position. You just don't see that. You feel like you're stuck. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have your present is the Fool. I love this card. So yes, again, I'm seeing similar things. I'm seeing similar things with this card um, as I look at this. I'm seeing two different areas of your mind. Um, kind of one's kind of competing with the other one. One's thinking you should do this. The other one's thinking you should do this. I'm also seeing that, you know, you're, you're imagining that you're kind of, you're kind of extremes in your mind. You have extremes. It's like you have this idea that either you have to sit in this job that you're in forever and never move, and that would bore you like anything. Or you can move into this amazing job and everything will be fantastic and everyone will clap you and cheer you or you'll get awards and you'll have loads of money in. The reality is somewhere in between these two things. The reality is in between. Uh, it's like one part of you wants to leap off this cliff and the other part is like this dog saying don't move don't go come back to where you're stable where you're safe that kind of thing so yes as as i was seeing in the eight of swords don't do either don't leap off the cliff and don't be stuck in your old thing either do both stay in your old job or whatever it is stay doing that keep your money ticking along do that do what you need to do pay your bills whatever put some money aside and then work on this new thing because I'm seeing that you know this will happen for you this is going to happen for you but you need to do a regular amount of work on it and just focus on it that's what you need to do but don't think you have to kind of do this great big huge um, this great big you know what do you call it? I don't know, this great big launch. Like, oh, I'm doing a great big launch. I'm going to have a big thing. Everyone's going to come, la, 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 la. It doesn't have to be like that. You can gradually move from one to the other. The last card you have your present is the King of Cups. I'm seeing someone around you. They're not actually physically around you, but they're around you at this time. They're around you in your thoughts. That's what I'm seeing. So it could be this person in the King of Pentacles who's not contacting you very much. Um, this is the person who keeps their emotions to themselves and they keep a lot of things to themselves actually. And this is why you're pulling away. That's what I'm seeing. You're just thinking, I deserve more attention than this. I deserve someone to open up to me. I deserve someone who's actually going to be around me more, who's going to think about me, not just themselves. A part of you would like to say, well, I'm just not going to talk to them. I don't care. But you can't do that. I'm seeing at this time you still have them in your mind all the time. So this person is making a big impact on you. Um, you can't get away from them in your thoughts. They're still in your thoughts. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have, your future, is the Knight of Cups. So yes, this person who you've been waiting for, this person could be um, coming back into contact with you again at this time. And, you know, this, you, it might make you happy to begin with. They might contact you and you might say, finally, they're contacting me. Finally, they're thinking about me. Yay, I'm so happy. But then after that initial happiness, you're going to be thinking, well, wait a minute. Why is this person contacting me now? Why didn't they contact me before? Why didn't they contact me on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday? Why are they waiting to contact me now? Um... I'd love to be able to tell you that they couldn't stop thinking about you and they had to contact you, but the reality probably is that they were into something they were doing, they were focused on something, they stopped whatever they were doing, they looked around and said, right, what's next? Now I have a gap, I'm going to contact this person again. That's what I'm seeing. So again, I'm seeing if you really want to be with this person, if you do see a future with this person, um, you're probably always going to be... Um, second best but kind of secondary to them and their needs and their goals and that kind of thing now I would like to say don't take this personally I can see why you would I would too um, but what I mean by that is they're like this to everyone but if you're in a relationship with them you're not everyone you're not just anyone 
you're in a relationship with them. You expect more from this person. So you've got to kind of weigh up whether um, whether you're prepared to kind of stay with this kind of situation, or whether this isn't good enough for you, whether you want to move on, because I'm not seeing them changing. Again, that's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the Ace of Pentacles. I love this card, obviously. So yes, this thing that you've been wanting to manifest, this thing that you're kind of halfway in, halfway out of, and you're kind of trying to take steps toward that and you're in two minds about this thing uh, this business idea or whatever this was um, I'm seeing at this time there might be an opportunity coming in for you this is going to help to push things a lot faster than before so you have these little stepping stones you have to go on this is going to kind of help you to kind of make these stepping stones come to you a lot faster things are going to happen to you a lot faster i'm seeing that they're going to start to speed up um, i'm just looking at this card and there's a path at the bottom of this card and um, you're already on this path you're already there and this path leads up to these beautiful hills up into the sky up into these mountains it's beautiful you're already taking these small steps up this path but now i'm seeing um i'm seeing some interest coming from someone who is going to be able to open some doors up for you. You'll still be taking these small steps, but I'm seeing that, you know, these steps are going to become faster. And um, the other thing I'm seeing is that, yes, you're on this path, but some of the path is obscured. There are things in front of them, there are roadblocks in front, and you might be thinking, I'm not sure whether I want to go down that path or down that one, or whether I can really see what I'm supposed to be doing. So at this time with this Ace of Pentacles, you're going to get this gift coming to you, this gift of stability. So this is something that's really going to be big for you when it takes off. Also, you're getting this gift of clarity. So you're going to be able to see exactly where you need to go, which path you need to go down, which steps you need to take, what you need to do, that's going to suddenly become very clear to you now and this is going to happen a lot faster for you. The last card you have in your future is the King of Swords. So yes, the King of Swords is about clarity as well. So you're going to have all this clarity now, you're going to have this vision, you're going to be able to see where you need to go. The other thing I'm seeing with this King of Swords is you're going to have your sword up. So when any, any of these doubts come in about yourself, whenever you start to think, oh, I don't know if I can do this, I don't know, maybe I'll stick with my old job, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this thing, maybe I'll just stay where I am. When this starts happening, you're going to have your sword up. Look how angry this man is, he's very serious. So you're going to be very serious, you're going to be guarding yourself against any of these thoughts that come up because they're not helpful to you. You do not want these thoughts telling you to just go back to what's familiar to you. It's one thing to, to be kind of doing a little bit of a thing that's familiar to you as a stepping stone to the new thing. It's another thing to not even pursue the new thing and to kind of be stuck in your old ways. Don't do that. I'm seeing that you won't do that because you've got this King of Swords guarding you against your own worst enemy, which is some of your own thoughts sometimes. So that's really good. This is looking really good for you for this thing that you want to manifest. So Pisces, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, please like or please subscribe or please leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you so, so much for watching.